guys, my name's Amy Marietta. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you different ways on how to style biker shorts. Biker shorts can be dressed up or down. You can pair it with so many different things, which I'll get into in this video, but some looks that I did were blazer for a more like you could wear it at work type look, or it was very like New York City vibes, or you could go for a more casual look, something with like an oversized tee, graphic tees, or sweatshirts, just for like, you know, those lazy cute days or your like 10th date, I don't know, something casual. <laughs> I'm obsessed with biker shorts because they're always comfortable. I mean, you have to find the right pair that fits you, but when you find the right pair, it's like you can live in them, kind of like when you find the right pair of jeans. Biker shorts are basically like the yoga pants that made it to summer, and I just love them. I've been wearing them since high school. I still have a pair from high school that I wear sometimes. They're Under Armour. The quality was just so great, and now it's harder to find them because you can't go and try stuff on. But I got one pair from Amazon that I like, but the quality after a few washes was not the best. So I'm not gonna 100% recommend those. Those are more if you don't really care about quality. I care about quality, so I won't be buying them again. And then I bought a pair from Target and I didn't like the fit. So I am still on the hunt for the perfect pair of biker shorts. So if you have any recommendations of good quality and good fit, drop it in the comments below because I am on the hunt and it sucks not being able to go shop in a lot of stores. So. I'm gonna share that in the video. So I'm just gonna kind of be doing a voiceover because, yeah. Okay, so for look number one, it's a very minimalist 90s style with the sandal kitten heels, the mini monogram Louis shoulder bag, and the bright orange sunnies. And then I wore a little mini gold hoops and then this is the white knitted top. But these heels are by Ray, I'll link everything below. And then I finished off this look with a cropped jean jacket and super cute, super easy, minimalist, great for a Sunday evening. Love it. And also let's just ignore that the shorts are kind of see-through. <laughs> okay, next. For look number two, this is a much more cozy outfit. I just bought these cool crew socks at Target in the men's section and I'm obsessed with them. They're like retro. Um, anyways, then I paired them with my classic Nike Air Force Ones, this baseball hat, and some sunnies. This is just like a fun and easy look for errands, a day at home, quarantine activities, etc, etc. <laughs> I was listening to Megan Thee Stallion and Billie Eilish while filming this, so I was dancing nonstop. Um, so if you want a drinking game idea, every time I dance in this, either take a shot or take a hit. Those are the rules, because we just need to keep these fun. Okay, next. <laughs> Look number three. This is another cozy look, but more minimalist. I went with an all black look, which I tend to usually keep it monochromatic, but I just got this crop black hoodie from Target randomly the other day. I went there for the socks, but as always ended up buying a ton of other random things. Um, but anyways, I love basic hoodies and we'll link this one below along with everything else that I wear in the video. Yeah, so for this, I switched out the retro socks for all white crew socks. I kept the sneakers, added a baseball hat, and then I added the belt bag slash fanny pack, whatever you call it, <laughs> but I wore it as a crossbody because it's huge. I love it because it fits so much in it and I take it usually when I travel, shop, or I'm out and about all day. Also, I clearly have a camel toe with these shorts, but that is totally fine. Um, I don't highly recommend these shorts because it shows your Gorilla Grip coochies, but um, also I guess we should normalize it, right? Cause like we all have, we all have them. <laughs> it's just, it's like not wearing a bra kind of. <laughs> Anyways, so inappropriate. Okay, and then the next look, this is one of my favorite combos. My grandma gave me this vintage leather jacket and I just love it so much so much it fits like a glove i went for a downtown girl vibe with this look and paired it with a crop top by super down which i love super down for basic pieces and then also my favorite these are my favorite boots i wear them all the time i've had them for years i hate breaking in new shoes especially boots so i highly recommend these ones to you guys they're mark fisher and then to finish off the look i added a gray bag and black sunnies to keep the kind of monochromatic look for the next look, this is more of a cool rocker girl look. It would be great for like when things <laughs> open back up again, like a, you know, festival, music show, 
just a day out, I don't know, but I paired the biker shorts with this Jimi Hendrix tee, but any vintage tee would look good with biker shorts in my opinion. I just like the oversized baggy ones. Okay, now we have an outfit that looks like you mean business. I would definitely wear this in New York and I would love that it works for day and nighttime. I kept it monochromatic. I just switched out the crop top for a black tank, added a blazer and voila, super easy. It's just so chic. I think this is my favorite one. Shots for everyone. <laughs> Okay, for this outfit, it feels very 90s to me and reminds me of Emma Chamberlain. I love her style and feel like she would definitely wear this. Anyways, um, I paired this ribbed white top with a headband because I'm really going through a headband phase right now. Um, but you could switch out the headband for a bucket hat too, which I love, also very 90s. And I kept it neutral and paired with a tan corduroy bucket hat that Mire got me. Love you, Mire. And since this was the end of the video, I just kind of started doing random combinations that I thought might, I might like. So I paired this tan crop blazer with this look too. And lately I've just been trying to keep my closet mostly neutrals because it makes putting outfits together a lot easier. But yeah. That's it. Hope you guys like it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week.